Playing with power tools sometimes has its ups and downs. The downs, you can kind of see them right here. Almost slid my finger off. Uh, yesterday we had another one right here. So my fingers have been hurting for the past couple of days. But it is what it is. Oh, check out, check out the seven foot table that we're gonna be working on here pretty soon. We already cut it as you guys can see. We need to sand down the edges so that we can paint it and then um, finish the process. I don't wanna tell you guys yet how to do them, but eventually I will. Anyways, what I wanted to talk to you guys today is about this Chevy grill that my dad found and whenever he finds things, he cares to experiment. So he bought some epoxy and I'll show you guys here on the ground some attempts that he had. And the first one, he screwed it up. The second one, as you guys can see on this one, he cut one side shorter than the other, so it wasn't working out. And he brought a third piece. The third piece, I took the uh, initiative and I decided to cut it for him. So he's been gone for like a couple hours. He comes and goes to my shop all the time. So what he wants to do and he plans to do is, and pretty much I already did it for him, and I did everything. I did everything with this saw. Or what do you call this? It's a drill master angle, angle grinder. I was able to cut the plexiglass. We had this disc on it, but it was too thick. So it was messing up the cut. And then my dad went and bought a thinner one. So that one did the trick. And I went out and cut it. it took me like an hour and a half. And then I put some vinyl over it because the goal here is to be able to fit it in there nice and snug. We're gonna glue the edges. Obviously, just so you guys know, all of this is gonna get repainted. Uh, my dad wanted to paint it white and he did. So he sanded it down a little bit. Then he thought of cutting the middle out, getting some epoxy, vinyling it, and then adding light in the back. So he's gonna take uh, light from the headlights or power from the headlights and run a little light bulb So he's gonna have a socket behind this sitting somewhere in here So it's gonna light the Chevy logo right in the center And what I did earlier is I grabbed my phone Put it on the lowest setting and I hope that you guys can appreciate this but that is kind of like the goal. So whenever he's driving at night, the Chevy symbol is going to be lit. Obviously, we just have to glue the edges, make sure it's nice and snug so it doesn't fly off whenever he's driving. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that's what I was doing today at the end of the day. We finished the day with a seven color print today. It was kind of crazy. I'm going to go show you guys that print setup. They already picked up the shirts. Um, it was like a, it was kind of like a gradient print, but every color was its own spot color. So we needed five colors that were in the reds to create like the sunset look. And I'm just going to show you guys the setup and call this a vlog. But I wanted you guys to see something crazy that, that I did today. So. I think the craziest thing of the day is that the inks didn't dry on me. It was 511 shirts. So the base, I double stroked it on a 175. Then we ran the flash. We had to mix four out of the five colors because we didn't have them. So we had um, the light red, which looks pink on the screen. And then it got darker as we went. That was the second, third, and fourth color. We did these wet on wet. And then these are the custom PMS matches that we had. So we mixed this one. I had this one. And then we have to also mix these other three. And I have them sitting here the same way that it's set up. So when I need ink on that one, I know it's the first one. When I need ink on the second screen, it's the second one. And it goes like that around the press. So after those four printed wood on wet, we flashed. And then we had uh, the second to the last darkest color The reason why the darkest one is over there is because the bottom of the print 
uh, would have been right here and it was touching the highlight so I really couldn't put those two wet on wet I didn't want the color to be touching the white and that's why I set up this one wet on wet with the highlight so um, I just decided to go from lightest to darkest everything was on high mesh except for the highlight I wanted it to be a bright white because it was on 50 50 uh, navy t-shirts and this was the back print the front was just the one color let me see if there's a sample still laying around so I can show you before I let you guys get it. Mm, meow, meow, there it is. Alright, so here it is. That is the sample. So we went base, color, wet on wet with this one. These two went wet on wet with these. And then these three went wet on wet with those and then the last one was this one with the highlight and thankfully I didn't have any issues like I said the inks didn't dry on me we ran 511 shirts on the automatic uh, because I was giving the machine time to cool down a little bit I had a fan with the chair right here aiming at this head because it was directly coming off of the flash and I didn't want the ink to dry in my screen so the way my machine prints it goes up it comes down and when it comes down it waits it waits for the head to come forward so while it's doing that there's just cool air coming in from underneath and I think that was just enough for me to be lucky and not have any issues all the shirts look great my customer came and picked up and he loved them so we got that taken care of but I just wanted to show you guys overall the Chevy grill that we did and I helped my dad finish it. He's always helping me around the shop so I felt like doing something for him. Um, even though I still do every once in a while. Like I said he messed up the first two glasses and I felt like doing the third one. I was like if I mess it up I'll just go buy another one and have him do it. Uh, I'm sure he already learned from his two first mistakes. But I knocked it out and I figured it out for him so that was it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I've seen uh, a lot of new subscribers. Go ahead and comment on my videos if you want to see anything here in the shop. And don't forget to like this uh, video if you liked it.